What's going on guys? It's the boys Kitty stuff. Man, back on the screen with something new. And in today's video, we're gonna go to the Spring Week 16 drop. That time. That time. Okay, we're gonna go through this real quick. I'm just gonna try to get this real quick and uh let's get started. So we should be recording right now. Alright, so this is Fox Logo Weekend. I guess my first one. I was watching Supreme, like I said, like I've said in my videos before, two years ago. So I remember the the, um, the hoodie was like I forgot what color it was. The, I knew which one of them was um, the brown and like light blue logo. I'm not sure screen, but um, this is my first official one that I'm gonna try to go for. So um, yeah, let's look at the first item. These are these are cool. I like I like box logos. The thing with box logos to me is I don't really taste them because I like Supreme and I like box logos, but that's not like the top item. I wear one uh, any day of the week, but it's not like something I'm like, I need it, you know? Like, I don't care if a thousand dollars, I need it and I want to wear it, you know? Um, there are a lot of other pieces that I'd rather, that I hold a lot more value to than um, box logos. But, <sighs> these are cool. Obviously, the white, the gray and red one is going to be non existent. If you want a tip, if you're not using a bot, don't go for that. Um, unless feel really like unless you like it's either that or go home if you're feeling either um either get the heather gray on red box logo or go home then do it because at the end of the day you're only gonna miss it's not like uh you know it's obviously gonna sell for the most so if you feel that way go ahead and go for it but i'd probably do whatever you can because these i don't know if these are gonna exist on site <laughs> i just don't know i don't think they consist in store but you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colors. They're all fire. The white one really intrigues me. White on white. But I obviously can get dirty pretty quickly. It's not like it's pop or something where it can it's like a better material. Um, but I'm going for the what they call it? I call it the peach, but they call it like a coral. That's what I'm going for. Not because of hype or anything, but I just think that's the a weird color to go for and I think that's I have a good chance of getting it. But yes, yeah, so if you're going for that, you are going to be quick. Because everyone in the United States is going for the one in the US. Everyone in Europe is going for the one in Europe. So be quick about it. And good luck to you. Next we have the uh, reflective camo down jacket. I like these items a lot. I knew they were going to be pricey. I was going to have to get them like later down when I have a lot of money to spend on clothes. It's a lot more money. But um, yeah, I like the 3M on them. How it's all 3M and like glows a lot more. This is in the lookbook. And um, it has cream on the back. I think that's in 3M? Or is, or is that just a, is a black stripe? I think it's probably just a black stripe. But yeah, I like them. I like this a lot. I like the colors. I like the simplicity of them. With just, it just being camo and not like Supreme written on the sleeve or something. I don't know if that's a hidden hood. I, oh, it does it? I, yeah, I think it does. It should, right? Yeah, yeah, they do. They do. Hood right here. What am I talking about? Um, yeah. And I feel like they'd be very warm. Um, I'd go for these, but they're 348. I'm not built like that. <laughs> not yet, anyway. But um, yeah, I would really like them. They're a nice item. I could definitely see how they're second line because they're really good. And the camo is like a popular camo that is in right now, I guess, in fashion. With all the Rothko, it's a lot, not as not as crazy as the Rothko, where it's not, it's not exact camo as the Rothko one, the type of camo that Army uses. What am I trying to say here? It's not the same exact type of camo, but it's the same type of camo, if you can see what I'm saying. It's a little, uh, little less like black and black parts around it. But it's cool, I really like it. It seems like it can feel very nice. Is it only if it's waterproof or anything like that? It's probably not. Oh, and it has a, yeah, the pack pulls, puts pack pulls so you can hide it away. Cool, really like it. We get on to the next item. Next, you have the Politech Balak Balaklava. Balaklava. I wonder if this is gonna be allowed in uh, Europe. Um, because I remember there was a Nike. I don't know if they did a collab with somebody, but there was a Nike Balaklava they had, and they banned it. From dropping because uh, I think that's like a popular item. Um, people use it like to rob places or something like that. I don't know. It might, I, I, I don't know if this is going to be available in Europe, but it probably will be. Maybe they don't care. Um, yeah, that's cool. I like the branding. 
don't know. I just I don't like bar clubs. I feel like they keep warm, but I don't know if I can walk down the street wearing one. I don't want someone to mistake me. This place is crazy, man. But uh, yeah, it's cool. I like it. it seems like you have these tighteners right here. These colors are cool. Surprising though, that's the third beside me. This is a week out of the week, week to everybody else. Um, next we have these uh, reflective camo warm-up pants. They have supreme written. So they do, they do. So they have supreme written in black. I wish they did it on white because it would show up a lot better on these uh, pants. Maybe even like um, silver um, 3M. Because you have the supreme oversized, size, it's warm-up pants. So if you have warm-up pants, you know um, how they feel, how they fit, and stuff like that. But yeah, these are cool. Would I get them without the thing? How much is that? How much are they? The 178 regular price for some Supreme pants. Yeah. And the 3M, so you can show off the outfit a little more. Um, but they're warm-up pants. I don't, people say warm pants don't fit that well. I, I just want to see. I just would rather have them in hand and see how they fit. But they're cool. I don't know if I get them with the jacket because not that it would be ugly, but it's just like I don't think it's that necessary. Like. I don't really want to walk around with a full camo suit on, and I feel like it's, these are, uh, but they, I think they'll sell out because they can stand alone. Each the jacket can stand alone, and the pants can stand alone. But I mean, yeah, they're cool. I like them. But then again, you have the Rothko, and people are gonna be like, "Why are you getting that when you get some Rothko? They are a different material, but you can get some Rothko camos for like 50 60 dollars new, and these are 178. You know, teach his own. I like them though. Next we have these Jesus, the Jesus and Mary hooded sweatshirt. So this is supposed to drop like week four, three or something. Like I said before, I like the black and white one. The purple one's kind of like eh, and the gold one is whatever. The black one's cool though. I think it has Supreme written. Is that Supreme written? That's right, Supreme right here. Maybe not. But it's cool. I wear the the black one. Black and white one. You know, these unseen gloves. I really wonder how these look. People are saying some people are saying that they look they're gonna look like um like Nike football gloves. Some people are saying they're gonna have like Polar Tech fleece on the outside. Who knows? Sixty dollars kind of price for some gloves. Well, I'll probably pass. Next you have the Polar Tech hooded raglan jacket. Seems like it'll keep you warm, but I'm not really crazy about raglan jackets. The box was cool, but um. And it's whatever. They're cool, I guess. Um, like this. I guess I like it. You're okay. Next, you have the Jesus and Mary sweatpants. I don't know if I'm feeling this one. Here's Supreme written right here. And it's like weird font. So maybe it's on like the sleeve? No, no, I don't see it on the sleeve. Yeah, it's the pants. I don't know if I'm feeling them. And they're sweatpants. I'd, I'd, I'd miss these. They're sweatpants. With this weird, like, art on it. The jacket, it kind of seems cool, but the pants, it's whatever. I feel like these are, I don't know. If you like them, though, go ahead. It should, it should be pretty easy this week with everyone going for the box logo. Um, next, you have these vampire waffle thermals. I like the item. Local's too small though. Oh, it's waffle thermal. Maybe if they were like $98. Oh, they are. They are. <laughs> um, yeah, it's cool. If you like it, I'd definitely go for this. I don't know if I like I'm not really crazy for waffle thermal tops. So I won't go for it. And the logo is a little too small. I don't know why it's that small. You know, it's a waffle thermal. I don't think making the logo bigger would have to bring up the price. Even if you like bump it up to 120, I feel like the logo's a little bigger. A lot more people will be into it. This, the logo is already unpopular, and then this small logo should have been bigger. Should have been bigger. <laughs> Next we have the Primal Loft Ear Flap Camp Cap. I like the way these look. I don't wear camp caps though, but I do like the ear flap on it. But I just don't wear camp caps, so maybe a pass me. But I do like this like. Astronaut one right here is cool. With the red box logo on it. And the blue one too. Then you have these pile line flannel, plaid flannel shirts. I like these. Yes, they're simple, but they have pile lining on it, so it's going to keep you very warm. 
and it seems like they have those class buttons. And I think they're hidden. You can you can't really see them. They're not really standing out by themselves. Pretty sure it's the paint tab right here. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I have the paint tab right here. But yeah, I actually like these items. You know the grant the granddaddy item of the week, I say. This was actually pretty good. This is probably the best, like, minimalist branded item they've dropped in a long time. And this season, because it actually seems like it'll keep you warm and it's not ugly. The colors aren't that bad. The purple one's cool, the green one, it's cool. This one's okay. The black one's okay too. Kind of get like futuristic vibes on this, but when you wear it, it's not gonna look like that. Um, yeah, these are cool. How much they? 138? Alright. Next, you have this Chanel sweater. Sh Chanel? Chanel, it's Chanel. It's old English font. Striping. I'll pass. I'll pass. Then you have these striped long sleeve polos. Okay, they drop. They drop like three granddaddy items this week. It's it's not bad. I'm not gonna not gonna hate on it. I actually like really like this color right here. This uh red and purple. But how much is this? One like ten. It's not bad. It's not a bad item. And it has the I'm guessing the P. This is the P for green. Or that an S? I think that's a cursive S. It's a cursive S. For Supreme. Cool, cool, cool. It's cool. Alright. Definitely a low key. 110 though. I feel like the best color is this one. This I would not get, you know. It's not really a regular color you see on a polo, it's black and gray, but you can find it if you really, really want that. And then other colors are unique too, but I feel like the only one I'd pay up for is. The pink and purple one. It's cool though. I wouldn't go get it though. If you like it though, it should be very easy this week. And last, you have the strap logo six panel. This is hideous. Ah. One thing I can't go sound with Supreme is their is their hats. Their beanies are fire. Their hats. They just li they're they're trollers with those hats. They just literally put Supreme everywhere. Let's do it around the rim. Let's do it on here. Let's put a dinosaur. Put on just the tab. Let's put on just the top. Let's put on just the brim, like, and it's all ugly. I don't know when they're gonna start doing curved brims. Either. I'm not saying that every um, company should conform to trends or something like that, but curved brims are a type of hat you want to wear. No one wants to wear flat brims like that. And if they do, they've already had they've already had six or seven flat brims they want. No one is going out to get this. Unless it's 10 bucks. No one. This is going to sit on the store. I just don't get it. It just sits supreme on the back. Who wants that? It's it's a curve. At, at that point, you can't even you can't even co-sign like, oh yeah, but it's still supreme though. It literally has supreme on the back. No one is gonna look at that. No one's gonna look at that and be like, oh wow, that's supreme hat. And the this color is hideous. Gosh, man. Something I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I just. Alright, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, Got to get another video out there. Cause I am a lazy person. I'm telling you right now. I'm lazy. I am. If you're still watching this point, shout out to you, man. Um, really love to see that people watch my videos through and through. But, yeah, I'm trying here. It's just, just lack of motivation right now. Um. I get these videos and I record them. I have like seven, eight videos recorded and they're all on the SD card. It's just, I don't know. I just gotta sit down one time and actually like edit these videos and put them out. But you know, I'll get over it because I know I can make it with this YouTube stuff. So I just gotta keep putting out videos, you know what I'm saying? But I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you did not, or uh, if, you didn't, if you didn't like the video, Dislike the video. Dislike it right now. <laughs> and uh, 
you got a comment, tell me, you know, hit me up in the comments, tell me if you did something wrong, tell me if you like the videos, tell me what you're gonna get, what you're gonna get this week, you know, are you going for the box logo, are you going for something else, let it be known in the comments, it's been your boy Quick Damper, logging out, thanks for watching, see you guys later.